Hey, how's it going guys? This is Jordan James TT here, or JJ's TT for short, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm doing a follow-up to the uh, the previous video that I did last week. Um, it's, well, today's video is basically, we're going to be talking about the ESP system, which is the Electronic Stabilization Program. So the ESP system was actually something that wasn't actually originally on the car when these cars were actually first born. I would definitely recommend watching the last video if you haven't already because it obviously contains the um, the history of um, these cars basically and how the ESP system came on so make sure to uh, click the banner at the top left here at the screen and then that will take you to the previous video. Okay so I guess the basic obviously point to start with is to say that the ESP system was first was put on these cars obviously to uh, increase enhance the control of the vehicle um, so that can be any kind of enhancement to control whether that's braking turning accelerating anything like that so the system for uh, the ESP works at all speeds it doesn't matter what speed you're going at whether you're going at 20 miles per hour 30 miles per hour uh, 80 miles per hour it all works all in between at different ranges of speed so it doesn't matter how hard you accelerate um, off at slow speeds or how fast you're driving at high speeds at a constant rate it will just always be active and work all the time so as part of the ESP system there's a number of different systems that are actually integrated all in one into the system so the first one you've got is the ABS the EDL and the ASR basically the way ESP is set up on the car is there's basically a number of sensors I would imagine obviously you know on the underside of the car and stuff and around the wheels that's used to track the activity of the car so you might see in the owner's manual is it tracks the driver's actions say like turning the wheel pressing the brake accelerating forward and such like that and if the car behaves differently to how if the car behaves differently to the driver's actions to so say if you turn the wheel right but the car's spinning a little bit too far to the right or something or either if you turn the wheel and nothing happens then obviously that's where the ESP system will then kick in to try and correct that action so basically the driver's actions always need to stay in sync with what the car is actually doing so the corrective action that then commonly gets applied with the ESP system is it will usually brake one of the four wheels so it'll apply the, apply the brakes to only one of the four wheels to whichever one it feels is actually starting to skid out do is obviously it will apply, apply it lightly you will feel it in the car sort of doing it and then as a result uh, you'll feel the car sort of feel as if it's slowing up a little bit or loss of power but it's not loss of power it's just purely one of those brakes that are being applied and is taking effect on the car okay guys so I'm now in the car for the next part of the video primarily because I just want to show you the actual action of the ESP actually inside of the car so what will happen is uh, every time you do the you start up the car as cars do they all do like a self test so when you turn it you should see the ESP light come on there which is that one and then it should just disappear I'm actually going to properly start it up so I can show you so uh, if we just go straight for it and there we go as you can see it disappears you can actually turn the ESP sort of on and off manually or on manually. You'll notice over here that on the buttons there is actually an ESP button here which is to the left of the hazard button. If you push this button you have to sort of long press it a little bit, so like that. As you can see the light will now actually come on on the dashboard. So it's a bit confusing because basically what it means is when the light is on the dashboard, as you can see there, that means that the, the ESP system is actually turned off. <laughs> so I know that seems a little bit confusing because obviously it's indicating to you that, look, I'm illuminated, which means I'm turned on. But it's not. When it's actually on like that, that means the ESP system has actually been manually turned off or either there is a fault. Um, so then, obviously, if I now press and hold the button again, like so, as you can see, the ESP light now turns off. So as I say, when the uh, the light isn't actually illuminated on the dashboard, then that means that the ESP is on active and monitoring your, uh, your driving conditions. So the way to know when the ESP system becomes active and is actually 
working for you is what will happen is it will uh, the light will sort of start rapidly flashing to obviously tell you that it's trying to counter an action and it is countering an action and then it will uh, it will then sort of obviously die down once your driving condition is back to a stable point. So as a result of this, and obviously as a result of the um, the history of this car and the um, you know the the serious and you know sad sort of history behind it, Audi recommends that the ESP system should always be turned on. It should never be manually turned off like so. It should always remain on. And for those of you who as well who want reference um, to where I got this information from, you can actually all get it from the actual owner's manual itself. I didn't need to do any internet research or anything. Uh, it was page 165 for mine. It might not be the same for yours, um, but yeah, 100, page 165 was mine in the owner's manual for it. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for the uh, for the video today. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it, uh, found it useful, and all that uh, and all that good jazz. I'm not too sure what the next video is going to be. Again, I'll have to try and think of some more uh, ideas. I've got a few sort of coming up. Um, I just need to decide which one I'm going to do next. Basically, hopefully you're staying safe and everything, um, and all that with what's going on. Uh, enjoying the weather as best you can while still avoid while uh, you know still complying with the guidelines and uh, yeah enough of me waffling I'll uh, take care you guys and I'll uh, catch you in the next video so cheerio.